Hello, welcome to Rolling Escapade Season 2, Episode 44, Part 2, the web series in which we play Dungeons and Dragons and put it online for your entertainment. You'll laugh, you'll cry, and you'll come away feeling extremely entertained. Uh, part 1, the uh, guys got through the storm, that's what the party did, you got through the storm. Uh, and you succeeded at it, you did far better at it this time than you did the previous occasion. <laughs> um, lessons were learnt and ropes were tied. Um, so... Uh, we ended the uh, session with you guys uh, having essentially woken up from a long rest. Uh, there is no need to roll for corruption. <laughs> you are outside the effects. <laughs> it is not a thing you need to be concerned about. I got a 19 on my wisdom save. <laughs> so who still got corruption? <clears throat> I've got one point. How many of you got rock? I can deal with it myself. I just don't want to yet. Okay. Anyone else? Anyone? I got two. I have two. No, I got three. I got two um, negative perks, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Yeah, you got three. One point each. Flaws? Yeah. Oh. All right. Take one off each. Woo! Okay. So when you drop down to two uh, par, your second um, bane disappears. Yay! That's not the that's not the one that's actively going to play a role though. Yeah, that was the one that gave you disadvantage on intelligence. Intelligence based te checks, yeah. yeah. But now, now you have. But right now, you've got disadvantage perception checks because you're hallucinating. <laughs> mm -hmm, still, I'm still pointing at things in the air, going, "What the fuck is that?" Yeah. So who? So I Icarus, you still got one. Yep, just one. Yep, just okay, one. Get, get rid so of that. To... Oh, there you go. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Icarus, no. And Paul, I'll, take, I'll take your two as well. Oh, thank you. Both of them. Yep. Oh, you're too nice. Just remember that. No time comes. <laughs> yeah, I will. Uh, so does that Any mean future eyeball-related arguments? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I was just sitting there with popcorn like, mm, fun. I'm playing so, Rise so, Dice with Eldoran. There's a better chance, a... but it doesn't make a man. <laughs> Derek is a lobbyist. <laughs> Buying <laughs> <in> favour. <laughs> She's just donated to my campaign of something. <laughs> If I was a lobbyist, I'd be much better paid. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Because you, you, you guys really are paid. <laughs> um, so I think that means everyone here, apart from Derek, now has no corruption? No, I still have one. Oh, you still have one. Oh, okay. One point. Yeah, yeah, I, I, no, I, I, didn't, I deliberately didn't cure him. Because okay. he snitched. Okay. <laughs> That's fine, I just want to check. Because Shamshir... Okay. Shamshir... Then do I... <laughs> Oh yeah, but no one cares about a Shamshir though. So. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> hey, I do. <laughs> no one cares about a Shamshir. I, I care F. if you were here. Yeah. 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 yeah Purpose yeah. does. If if if, if, if Shamshir was more than just a name floating in the air right now, he would be cared for. Shamshir is more than just a big number five floating around the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, <coughs> okay. So, <clears throat> you carry on uh, journeying on the ship. Nothing bothers you through that day. Uh, I don't know if anyone wants to do anything, say anything, interact with anyone. If not, your journey is uneventful. Um, I mean, if Jack asks me about um, what I brought up to him the other day, then I will go into detail my experience mm -hmm. of what happened and, like, you know, how it did things. That's right. Well, so what, what he actually does say to you is um, he's, he, he's interested in learning more, but not whilst on the ship. Because um, basically, it's whilst he's awake, he's on the wheel. He wants to pay attention to what's going on. And then at night, he just want, he doesn't want to think about it and just wants to sleep. <laughs> gotcha. Um, uh, so that's a conversation uh, in Shroudwind that's going to happen then. Yeah, or... Um, <clears throat> probably not in Shroudwind, but at a point closer to Shroudwind, at a point where... He doesn't have to focus as much. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> but before he starts doing the crazy talk. Yeah, before before that's why that's why in Troudwin it doesn't make sense because in Troudwin he's got to do the crazy talk. It's not a, not a conductive conversation. 
Um, I'd like to ask the Asimar about any of their experiences with exotic poisons and the like. Oh, okay. Or at least curing exotic poisons. I was just oh, more oh, confiscating. Oh, rather... <laughs> just, just curing poisons, because for them it's not exotic. You know. Yeah. <laughs> um, just in general. Just, you're just talking to them about poison in general. Uh, no, exotic. Uh, like, yeah, poisons and poisons and curing them. Okay. Um, uh, the main thing you'll get back is they are mostly focused. Uh, the, the way they mostly deal with poisons is um, uh, Inri and uh, Fira. <laughs> Um, because they have the ability uh, sorry not fair just in ray uh, has the ability to cleanse poisons um, but they don't have much experience with it outside of that or they would find uh, when they weren't all as one massive group they would find a cleric or a paladin or something similar that could heal for them okay so they, don't, they haven't heard of any that resist that sort of thing no they have not though you do pique their curiosity about it <laughs> um, so yes. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, anything else anyone wants to do during the day? Mm, I will talk to, to... Uh, Vera mm -hmm. and um, ask if she's able to communicate with her Davis now that we've left the sanctity of that island. Yes. Uh, um, so yes. Um, stopping them. When uh, that is a point. When the mornings come, a uh, morning came. All of the Asimar had a bit more uh, spring in their step. They're not like f for completely healed. They are definitely under some sort of. You know, they're under mental strain from what they've been through. But there is a bit more liveliness to them. Um, <clears throat> and when you're asking for us, yes. Um, Yes, my Deva visited, or sent me visions in the night, um, <clears throat> which was um, pleasant to hear from. Um, they, uh, <clears throat> well, they are uh, not sorry because they do not believe they are a greater being than we are, uh, but. Uh, at least showed understanding that uh, we were not the right group to send to that island. Hmm. Yeah, well, that it's, was it's good that you've been able to to speak with them again. Yes, and they can they can once again direct your efforts. Uh, is um, where we're going? Uh, I saw we don't get direct. The communication isn't direct messages, it is signs and emblems and things like that. Um, but I saw things of uh, uh, a great, uh, like, tentacled beast uh, dragging what I think was a hydra and a vulture into the ocean. Is that. Hmm? <laughs> oh. No, but I cannot say that I have ever. Yes. Even heard of something like that before. Kraken? Kraken's daughters? Or seen one. Um, the great sea monsters must exist somewhere. Uh, they are marked on maps, as it is. Well, the the indication I was getting in my dream uh, was because <clears throat> it's not a it is not saying this is a thing that is to happen directly. It's a it's a sign. It's not it's to be interpreted. But uh, I was getting the indication that I should help that you s I should help the sea creature. Am I within a shot of this? Depends on where uh, Elderan's having this conversation, I guess. Wherever. Yes, people are within earshot. <laughs> uh, Elderan, do you have you realised what that 
Vision's probably referring to. No. Um, probably the pirate crews from back in the town. Oh, bugger. Yes, you're right. Yes, yes, you are right, of course. Oh no, good, that means we're not literally facing a Kraken in the next couple of days. Yeah, we, uh, no, no worries of that. Okay, a Kraken, I, that's what it's look called. Up, you say that, you say that with a, a, a disturbing level of <laughs> 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 Well, if we see tentacles, we know who we're blaming first. <clears throat> So, in in what way are these creatures connected to pirate crews? I mean, the Kraken sea creature makes sense, but how is a vulture? It's the names that they go by. The they they had adult. monikers uh, names that they would use, uh, such as com like company name. And I see. Yes. So yeah. we 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 call ourselves colloquially with we as a group are the errant guard. Mm -hmm. um, there is a pirate crew called D. Kraken's daughters, or daughters okay. of the Kraken, I can't remember which way around it is. Was it daughters or sisters? Daughters. Daughters? Daughters. Daughters? 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 Okay. If it wasn't aunts. <laughs> <laughs> or mothers. <laughs> Kraken's mothers. <laughs> they were definitely female, and um, there was Krakens involved. But yes, no, that, that would... <clears throat> that tracks. Uh, well, maybe it is uh, your destiny to to settle in Shroudwind, then. Well, maybe not for a time, anyway. To I mean, depending on your carpentry work, you could take up the old mansion where the vampires were. It's a bit yeah. burnt. It's a bit of a bit of a restoration job. But I don't think anyone else is there. Out of the in, way and pretty quiet. In in your vision, was there any blood? No. Excellent. Why? But if it was pulling it into the oh. water, then surely there was a <laughs> carrot. <laughs> there was a strong tail. It's <laughs> 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 amazing. Kraken tail to make an entrance. <laughs> <laughs> it's furry. Um. Surely there was a struggle. Give the people what they want. The water. Okay. Yeah. Um. There was there was a scuffle, but there was no. Blood, it was just a tentacle dragging a vulture and a hydra into the sea. Oh, that's that's good because the the the, the crew that we defeated uh, were called the Blood Brothers. And they were the they are bad people. And uh, I there was any... no remnants. Yes, they're not involved in your vision, so that's good. It means they're no <clears throat> threat. Uh, Unless the sea was red, or was the sea? No, the sea wasn't. You, you, okay. um, you attacked the leader of the Hydra Rovers. Did we? Oh. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, the Blood Brothers were the guards of the. Um... It was a relatively long time ago. Yeah. No, no, that, that's cool. Yeah. So the Hydra Rovers were the ones in charge with the vampire. Um, there was the uh, Blood Brothers who maintained security of the walls and the gates and. Uh, there were the Kraken's daughters who maintained the port, and then there were the uh, black vultures who maintained the fighting pits. Ah. The Kraken daughters were Peg's crew, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. 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 Right, cool. Mm. Who we also sort of left more in charge of things than the others. Yep, mm -hmm. pretty much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you set it up so that Peg, Peg could seize control of the city. Uh, the town, rather. It's hopefully, if you get back and there isn't some sort of horrifying power struggle going on. <laughs> yeah. It's all right, we have that one you... free peg card. His name is. I still have that somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Well, I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, David, my David at least has uh, indicated that I should be helping the, she said the Kraken's daughters. Captain Pegg is their, is their leader. And sure will do an introduction. Icarus can definitely introduce I was about to say, Icarus, you'd be good at that. Oh? Where? Do the SMI have a, have a term, are you familiar with the term booty call? 
<laughs> yes. Yes, that's just a term we know. Yeah, Icarus See? has got the powerful one. Well, Icarus is Peg's pirate booty. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. Ah, I see. Hmm. Yes, well then, yes, I think I will, um... <clears throat> if we can be introduced to Peg, I think I will... Don't lie down into that can't see you. Peg, so. I should say. Uh, and maybe we will Cat offer really wants. Uh, our services to her. That seems to be what we are... What we have been implied in being implied to do. Mm. Um... Is Peg attempting to... Captain Peg, sorry. Is she attempting to... What is she doing in the town? Aside from she's in control. What I was going to say Icarus, but... Um... <laughs> she's done that. <laughs> She'll do it again. Maybe. Probably. Weeks. <laughs> Weeks. <laughs> then it's probably months. It, what was it we asked us to do? Because it was to because store just order. Rule, rule, rule slightly justly. Yeah, because be I, I, I remember us talking like in length about. Was it about making it slightly more legitimate? It. Less yeah. corruption. No slaves and stuff like mostly. Um, more freedom. Yeah, don't force people into the fighting pits. Mm. Vampires. <laughs> no fucking vampires. No, Bruh, right. Stone boys saw to that, didn't he? Was it Cambians? Cambians were there. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. None of them. <laughs> Clean up the place, make it yeah. look good, and do good. Did the asthma hear about the Cambians? Well, see, I, I think this is just us. That conversation this. happened in character, like out loud, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, we're we're doing this out loud, you, going through all just, the bad things. Yeah, you're literally just sitting there listing the things. <laughs> so you're just watching spirits, like, okay, okay, okay. Really? <laughs> we're, we're taking right. them to hell on earth. The, the vampires, um, the Cambians are gone. No, yeah. no. fix most of it already. Right. Okay, that's gone, that's good but... to know. They're gone. Right. See, having a, uh, a force for good in the area would um, hopefully inspire Rob the opposite sort of things to appear. Forced into fighting pits? Yes, no, okay. And Captain Peg is attempting to stop this. We hope. Or legitimize it at least. Get rid of the forced section of it. Wait, have them more for entertainment means. And to bring in revenue rather than... As in unforced, as in voluntary, yeah. Eldoran. Well, I didn't realise they were forced in the first place. Yeah, we How didn't did tell him that. <laughs> well... Um, if I remember, we tried to keep quite a lot of this secret from Eldoran, <laughs> because... Because he has, he has opinions. Quite strong <laughs> opinions about this sort of thing. Quite strong, judgy kind of opinions. Yeah. Yes, yes, the entire town's illegitimate and half the people murdered each other. It's a Friday night activity, I think. There. <laughs> he's, he's, Friday he's, night murder. He's not quite as morally flexible as some of the rest of us. <laughs> hey, you thief! Mm. <laughs> we all have different priorities. Confiscator. Well, we I confiscated. We definitely need to um, touch Since base. Since when were you his mother? mother? I'm not. I'm his, I'm, his, I'm, I'm his senior. Apparently, he's also telling the teacher on me. Oh no, <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> Once we make landfall and find out her progress so far. I see. Well, <clears throat> I'm being told to help her. I assume that is a good, I assume for good reasons. I assume she has good intents. Otherwise, I do not see why I would be asked to help. Of any part uh, of any leader there, I think they're the person with best intent. Can, can, I, can, I, can I make a suggestion, though? Yes. Um, your your Davis have sent you on a mission before, which was too much for some of your people to cope with. Yes. Um, should you find that being the case, I... 
if you if you wish to stay in Shroudwind, um, uh, I would recommend that you send the rest of the Asimar who are struggling to survive uh, from Shroudwind to Joffrey. We will, we'll do we, will we, we will we will furnish you with a map and so on. And or or the Crystal Lagoon. Yeah, if they, if they were to go to Dune Turquoise, Tal, then, sorry. then they would be they would find themselves a safe place. I think Dunatol might be safer because the uh, it is a long journey you said from Charlotte to Joe Fryan. Yeah, but it's not that fraught with danger. Yeah. That's that's actually not true. <laughs> yeah, well, we attacked like three times. Yeah. So. Compared kind of to the road. fucking island, it's not that fraught with danger. Uh, yeah. We got attacked by flowers. <laughs> uh, yeah, just don't go to the purple anything. mire. It's fine, you know. <laughs> yeah, you could just rent a boat to get there, most of the way there, and avoid a lot of stuff. Uh, yes, rent a boat with uh, all of the money that you have. Mm. <laughs> That's great, I love that sarcasm there. <laughs> I wasn't expecting such sass. <laughs> uh, I'll see what happens, I'll see what is needed. Um, and sort of take it as it comes. Um, maybe we will be uh, okay. But I'm going to make sure that my men stay resting to recover as much as they can. Yes, well, there's there's nothing else for them to do for the moment, at least. Yes. So take some time. It's helpful. Enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, if you need me, I will be below decks. Um, yes. No, not with her. I was going to talk after mm -hmm. she left. Cool. She leaves. Um, can I find either Jack or his first mate and see if it's possible to purchase a map with the coastal cities of the continent? Hmm. Uh, you can find Jack. His first mate is asleep. Um, but... So I'm assuming he's got quite good maps. Chips <laughs> usually have a cartographer, don't they? <clears throat> um... Captain or co co Master and Commander. The Master was the person who did the maps and stuff. But yes. Uh, it's a Quartermaster. Quartermaster plots the ship's course, relying on knowledge of nautical nautic nautic charts and the study of weather and sea conditions. Quartermaster it is. Yeah. Um, yes, uh, but uh, um, they don't have any maps. Uh, which he explains for two reasons. I think it's the other one. Let's double check. No, it's a she. Proud flow. That's it. Cool. She explains um, that one, maps are expensive and they're supposed to appear like a poor crew. <laughs> yeah, fair. Uh, and two, uh, she can remember any map that she looks at. Well, that's quite a talent. That's quite the keen mind you've got there. <laughs> <laughs> Could she perhaps draw a rough sketch of what the where the various cities on the are on the edge of the continent are? Sure, she can do a, a she can do a, a rough sketch. Um, it's just so I know roughly know right there, there, there. So we know roughly how many cities have survived on the corner because a lot of them were damaged or destroyed over the course of the wars. Yeah, well, yeah, most most cities. Well, how long has it been at this point? Most of the ones Six that years. Yeah, most of the ones that have suffered damage would have been would have recovered by now. Well, fair enough. Um, <clears throat> unless yeah, they were, actually... sorry, yeah, go. Uh, unless they were outright destroyed, which to be mm. fair, a fair few were, but most of the ones that were outright destroyed were on land because it's a lot easier. Mm. Yeah, it's more so we know where we've got to go for the future. <clears throat> yep, that's fine. I will. Routes and stuff. It's not a very accurate. Well, it's relatively accurate, but it's a very quick sketch. She is not yeah. a cartographer. 
Yeah, I didn't need. I just wanted a rough idea of what's going on. Cool. Um, cool. That's it. Then she carries on with her navigations. Uh, anything else people wanted to do on this day? Okay. Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, okay. So as it comes uh, across to uh, evening, um, <clears throat> uh, probably a bit, a uh, bit before then, you will all notice a uh, any of you above deck uh, will notice. Um, Don't say a dragon. <laughs> no. Uh, in the distance, there is another ship coming towards you. Um, and you appear to be going directly towards each other. Um, <clears throat> they don't want to do Are anything. They flying colours. Uh, at this point, they're too far away to see. You can just see that there is a, sh a ship in the direction you are travelling. It's just coming closer. I'd like to cast Mage Armour just in case. Okay. I am paying incredibly close attention to this other ship. Wonderful. <clears throat> uh, who's, who's on the um, on the wheel? Uh, it would be Jack still at this point. Uh, I will call to Jack and point at the ship. <laughs> ah, yeah. No, I know. I saw them. That's fine. We're heading in that direction. Are you worried at all about them? Mm, no. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so as they uh, get closer, um, start noticing that it is a uh, very well put together ornate ship. Um, uh, if you were when you went through the harbour uh, of Shardwin before, you saw that there were lots of many ships, different uh, sizes and shapes. Um, but there weren't very many that were uh, ornate. Uh, there weren't very many that you looked at and go, okay, that's an expensive ship with uh, something important on. Uh, Icarus, you do recognize the ship. <laughs> uh, yes, I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and you will all uh, very quickly recognize um, the colors that are being flown are those of <clears throat> um, tentacles. Uh, wrapping around a ship's wheel uh, which is the emblem for the Kraken's daughters um, we have a welcome party oh Icarus I didn't realise you were uh, being picked up <laughs> seems so she misses you that much huh <laughs> it's the catch of the day <laughs> boy must have stamina <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't drink <laughs> um, <clears throat> the the ship is bigger than Jack's ship <laughs> by a long way. Yes. Uh, weirdly enough. Um, uh, and is more heavily armed. Um, whereas Jack, Jack's got the, the one mangano in the middle and the, a, blist, a blister at the front and a blister at the back. Whereas they've got two, two blister at the front, two blister on the back, a blister on each side and two mangonels in the middle. This is a fighting ship. <laughs> yes, yes, huh. this is a you fighting ship. You can dual wheel ballistas. <laughs> <laughs> Your dream come true. <laughs> um, this is definitely a ship of the line, isn't it? <clears throat> so as you uh, make your way, uh, get closer, uh, Jack drops anchor. Um, <clears throat> and Peg uh, sails past to turn and... Uh, uh, to move alongside. I get um, Fira. Yeah, you get Fira. Cool. And to be fair, at this point, she's probably on deck because there would have been some mm. noise and commotion. Yes. Um, and so that is Captain Peg's yes. ship. Is she? Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, that that is that is Captain Peg's ship. So um. <laughs> You'll get to meet her soon, I think. Ostentatious. Hmm. I quite like the style, though. Yeah. Um, That's better on board. 
<laughs> you know. Um, so, uh, boarding planks are laid out, um, and yeah, they are. <laughs> uh, and you watch as Peg um, comes uh, up on deck and crosses from her ship to uh, Jack's ship, uh, and Jack moves. Um, to greet her, um, uh, you do notice she doesn't appear to have many crew, <clears throat> or at least not above deck. Uh, with her is uh, her uh, bosun and her quartermaster, um, and that is the, those are the only three people on the upper deck. Um, so she uh, set fours. Um, just Jack. Uh, or, uh, no, she doesn't say Jack. Jarlesk, it is a pleasure to see you again. Uh, I'm glad you returned uh, from that storm safely. Uh, Errant Guard, glad to see you safe too. Pleasure. Uh, I don't know you, she says as uh, she looks at uh, Fira. <laughs> May I introduce Captain Peg, Fira, um, I don't know what, know what your collective goes by. Um, we saved her and her people whilst on the island. Um, <coughs> Fira steps forward and slight, like um, does a very slight bow to Peg. Yes, uh, I um, <coughs> I've heard that you are working to establish justice of some sort within Shroudwind. Um, uh, I have been sent a dream by my uh, Deva that I am, um, or me and my people are to assist you in this matter. Um, <coughs> Peg looks at Um, okay. Strange, I was not expecting uh, further reinforcements. Um, uh, we shall discuss the matter uh, on our journey back, I think. I think I will, yes. Um, Jack mentioned in the message that he sent me that he had uh, travellers with him. Uh, I feel, I think, and he agrees, it would be better if they arrived on my ship at Shroudwind. I can see that. Mostly on the basis that... Uh, with his persona in Shroudwind, uh, he's not sure many people would willingly get on his boat. Yep. And also, it covers where they have come from, which <clears throat> is in all our benefits. <clears> that uh, does mean we will... <clears throat> uh, obviously, we will return to town a few days later. Uh, we are going to travel a bit. <clears throat> make it look like I found them somewhere and picked them up. Um, your uh, friend? Ex-compatriot? Not sure how to term it. Uh, Thondrake arrived in, Shr in Shroudwind. He's... Uh, oh, good. Hey. He did he... say he was heading in that direction. So... Yes. Uh, we've, we've had him. He's been here a few days. Uh, he is... Um, Helped with some uh, raids on the uh, black vultures. Sounds like him. <coughs> yeah. Is he still there? Uh, he is still there. Uh, he bought a <laughs> friend. Um, uh, apparently, en route, he was attacked by a group of orcs. Uh, he kept one alive and dragged it <laughs> for three days across the continent to Shroudwind. If anyone could, it would be Strondrite. Ask Strondrite to go, yeah. you, you're my friend now, come with me, and then just drag a fucking orc with him. Oh, oh I say, nothing's changed. No, I mean, I, I say friend, uh, the orc was unconscious. <laughs> yeah, I dare say Strondrite still said what he said, though. <laughs> I think. So, yes, um, the orc is currently locked away uh, under permanent guard. 
uh, Thondrake wanted to speak to it and find out what they were doing or something. I'm not entirely sure, but I assume you know more about what he's talking about than I do. Mm. I wish. Mm. I can guess. I wouldn't say so. But like I say, that sounds exactly like the Thondrake we knew. Yes. It's going to be good to see him again. <clears throat> but he is, he is doing well. Um, <clears throat> ah, I'm glad you all... Yes, glad you all returned safely. Uh, I did have... Are you returning to Jofrein? Eventually, yes. Wonderful. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to uh, establish a more formal uh, connection. I know uh, Jofrein... Whilst putting out the claim uh, that they are the uh, capital city of uh, Vavanor uh, do not technically own any uh, or own, have very few uh, towns that have follow that sort of obligation as it were um, but uh, I wondered if you could uh, convey a message on my behalf and behalf of Shroudwind to say that we would um, Recognize Joe Frime's authority. Such message can be passed. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that would include following, once I've managed to implement them, but following any laws that they deem are countrywide. Would you like help composing the letter? Oh, I was not intending to write a letter. I was going to ask you to convey the message directly. Is that not the proper way to do this? Uh, Verbally I... is perfectly acceptable. Um, this is more than a single letter's worth of work. Um, once such a formal application has been made, uh, what is most likely to happen uh, would be an envoy <coughs> of the court would Come to uh, come to Shroudwind and speak with you as uh, as the representative, and discuss the uh, the points involved, and make sure that everyone is on the same page, and then a formal document will be signed. At the very least, we could get the ball rolling and skip out a few of the um, needless parts. Just most assuredly, a ball could be set rolling. You see. <clears throat> hmm. well potentially then I can send you with my message but I can send if I was to send a uh, convoy of my own um, who could work as an uh, escort on a guard to bring their own uh, voice to Shroudwind that would certainly work wonderful uh, in that case, I think I would ask uh, Ferbrin to go, and um, I'll ask I'll ask her to pick some uh, individuals that she thinks are wor worthy of the uh, journey. It is not without dangers, so they ought to be able to defend themselves. You'd be hard pressed to find uh, anyone within my crew who does not know how to fight. And uh, Ferbrin is the second most capable fighter within my crew. Mm -hmm. Just because obviously you're not going yourself. Exactly that. The galley boy may be not the best choice, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I think I would send via foot. Um, it would be easier and it would avoid uh, questions because I think we can get there without crossing through any other settlements. Um, Stradwind has been known for what it is for some time and I think I think it is better that Jofram hears directly as opposed to via rumour as to what changes are occurring. Indeed. 
Wonderful. Then, <coughs> I think I can trust you to deliver, just, just to say as you wish, uh, I just want to stress that I am willing to engage in conversation and willing to uh, apply the laws that they deem necessary here in Shroudwind. I, it is, I think it is a thing that should be done. Uh, the Vivano has suffered enough of a split and it is time we start healing the wounds and start bridging those gaps once again. Sounds like good progress is being made then, and it's in the right direction. Yes, um, the Hydra Rovers have all but ceased to exist. Um, uh, it turns out that uh, Dead Eyes um, empowered his most trustworthy lieutenants, uh, and when you went in and killed him and all of them, there was no one left in charge. So they mostly destroyed themselves in their own battle to gain power. Uh, and we merely mopped up the dredges. Um, <clears throat> the Blood Brothers are quite content with guarding the town. They have not really been true to piracy for some time. Um, and they have, they have enjoyed just being on the walls um, and have uh, taken, taken well to the new regime. Um, the ones giving up the most uh, resistance currently are the Black Vultures, uh, but that would make sense because they stand, they are the most, they stand to lose the most. They are the ones in charge of the pits, and the pits are the one of the driving factors of the things that we are changing. Well, as long as you don't get rid of them. Well, we'll get rid of them in the way that they currently stand. Fights to the death are not a good thing to do. And Just they are. Like Trondrake, hear you say that. Ah. <clears throat> from what I understand from Trondrake, he enjoys uh, tests of strength as opposed to strengths of luck and might and to the death so much. Um, we are going to try and convert the pits to uh, the temples to cord. But we are going to be met with resistance uh, as well. <clears throat> they are uh, currently dedicated to less savoury deities, shall we say. How does the court of public opinion weigh at the moment? Well, um... <clears throat> Most of the uh, civilians are happier with the changes that we are implementing um, because they do not need to know how to work on a ship to act out an actual um, livelihood. Uh, during our time when we had control of the docks, we were able to seize a large swath of both coin and food, and we have been ensuring that um, people have been fed and have been given uh, money for uh, what they have done so far fairly. Um, <clears throat> we are going to, especially if we can get in contact with Dothrime, uh, probably going to try and establish um, uh, trade routes, uh, bring in some um, merchant uh, guards and whatnot so we can start building more stone houses as opposed to wood, um, <coughs> and to see whether we can uh, export some of our uh, carpentry skills. Um, I imagine those who are good at creating ships will be of a similar skill at creating things like carts and uh, wagons. You'll have a bit of a sticking issue with the wheels, but otherwise, yes, your logic is sound. I just sort of turn and look at the wheel on the boat. Oh, shit, sorry. Yeah, a helm is different. You need a wheel right. You need a specific person to do cartwheels because they also deal with the axles and everything. It's a very specific role. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, but I'd like to ask Peg if there's any uh, known teleportation circles to Shroudwind. Uh, no, there is not. Um, it is uh, not been something that people have desired. Fair enough. But maybe something worth investigating. I would. Uh, a teleportation circle is time, effort, and money to get set up as a permanent yes. thing. Uh, I think I would rather establish uh, proper connections with some other settlements nearby instead. Dunatol is obviously one of the ones that I intend to uh, parlay with, but they are to come after I have spoken to Joffrey. That should probably progress rather rapidly once those initial communications have been made. One advantage of having a member of the ruling family on the Council of Joffre. Indeed. Just out of curiosity, your your declaration of fealty of alliance, um, it's, it's purely for business reasons and purely to better the people of Shroudwin? There's no... You're, you don't need allies desperately or anything? No, no we are no need, no need uh, of allies. It is a... Uh, <clears throat> it is to, to more legitimise uh, my control over Shroudwind. It is to create it, create a better place for people to stay and to live. It is to improve the reputation. Um, and... Uh, we are not under threat right now, but I would. Part of my discussion would be to uh, organise an, a, a give and take relationship on defence. Um, no. Insight check. Sure, make an insight check. Twenty. Peg, as ever, is hard to read. <laughs> Worth a shout. Yeah. She just, just, just still sits. She still stands with that half, half smile that she just always has. Her poker face is the half smile. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um. <clears throat> yes. No. I do not foresee any problems. I just should Joffrey require aid. We will send aid. And should we require aid, I would like it if Joffrey sent aid. But it's not something I foresee happening anytime soon. We know that is a mutual defence pact. Just the term that would be used. Yes. These all seem like fairly reasonable conditions and expectations, so I see no reason why this wouldn't progress rapidly and to everyone's satisfaction. Once we get back to Joe Fran, that is. Wonderful. Uh, well, uh, in that case, um, you have uh, the rest of your journey to make um, back to Shroudwind, and uh, I have a pretense to keep up. We have a hold for the Basimot one, load first. Yes. You want exactly. to take one of our sorcerers as well? <laughs> Just quickly. <laughs> uh, well, alone. I was going to suggest it. <laughs> uh, Early no. on, I'm extremely valued. Yes. <laughs> so valuable, I want to give you up for an evening. Uh, no, I have uh, duties to see to. Very well. Uh, Fira. If you wouldn't mind uh, bringing your uh, people up onto my ship, I will see them housed below deck. Um, uh, you will find it more comfortable than where you have been staying, uh, whilst Jack is a wonderful captain and he has a fantastically interesting ship. Uh, <laughs> I have quarters for all of you. I mean, yeah, you've got an extra deck right there. So, Vera and the Asimar are all moved across to Peg's ship. 
uh, uh, before she leaves, I say, it's been a pleasure traveling with you. Um, if not under the circumstances, your company has been enjoyable. And I look forward to seeing you again once we are all uh, once again upon terra firma. <coughs> I would, uh, I would like to thank you, Errant Guard, for saving me and my people. Um, we have, we have much to learn, um, but I think, I think where we're going now, we are better suited to. Um, uh, I will discuss with my people as to, and with Peg as to whether or not rest uh, is available for them within Shroudwind, but if they are not, you said I can send them to your town, uh, Eldoran. Dunatal, yes. Dunatal. Wonderful. I will make sure that they are aware and waiting, should you need it. I appreciate that. Oh, uh, hopefully we will um, meet again at a later point. Uh, Obviously, I am going to be doing what I can to improve Shroudwind 2, so maybe when you come back, it will be a better place. It would be my hope. Wonderful. Well, and I respectfully bow to her. <coughs> Good luck with the rest of your journeys wherever they lead you. And she. And yep, she turns and gets on the boat. Um, the uh, boarding planks are raised uh, and. Peg set and her uh, uh, ship set off um, towards the west. Yes, west. Uh, which is directly away from Vavanel at this point. Um, which also Often you, you now know. Journey. Yeah, <laughs> you now you now know um, uh, di uh, compass directions again because the compass works. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no interference. <laughs> um, <coughs> sorry. Jack. Uh, Jack. Uh, um, yes. What time do you expect us to return to port? Mm. Well, I told Peg we were coming last night before going to bed. It took a uh, we went for about a day and she met us en route, so I guess about another day. Pretty yeah. Good. So probably tomorrow evening. I think I think dinner is in is, is in order once we've once we get back onto the land. And a drink with Throndrike. If we can find it. I'm, I'm sure didn't actually we ask where he was. That's yeah, in the town. That's all I need to know. I can <laughs> well, yell loudly enough. I, well, I meant to say he has, a, he has an orc under prisoner guard. <laughs> yes. That can be in only one of two places. It should not but, be hard to find. Which I was going to say because Peg didn't intend to say it and then I completely slipped my mind. Um, she would have told you where uh, the orc was kept prisoner and also where to find Throndrake because uh, Throndrake is currently staying at Peg's house of residence um, uh, next oh, Icarus, you've got to keep your place <laughs> competition love triangle <laughs> um, yeah, just coexist, it's fine but uh, yeah, um, Peg's place of residence which is next to the drunken eel which is where you first met Peg uh, with with the the wonderful uh, uh, patron uh, Ketras, the really grumpy Hilda Wolf that just gave you sass every time you went in, regardless of what the reason was or what time it was. <laughs> <laughs> that woman was hundred percent sass. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> um. <coughs> yeah. So, uh, let's just say. Um, if you want, we don't have to travel overnight. We can spend a night just anchored down. Up to you guys. I'm in no rush. Depends Whatever on you is want your to... preference, Jack. We, yeah. I don't think we are in a particular rush either. Yeah, so I, I, I'm not bothered because I can sleep perfectly well on a moving or stationary boat, but 
I do wonder whether you would prefer a uh, slightly less bumpy ride. I don't think time is of any pressure. And just keep sailing as we were. Given where we were just spending our time, this is even in the roughest of storms. Yeah. Far more preferable. Sorry, I'll continue onwards. Yeah. Continue onwards, Jack. Very well. Cool. Uh, so he gets his first mate on the wheel and goes to bed. Because <laughs> that's what he's going to do. Um, mm-hmm. uh, as you guys want anything, you guys have another long rest. Uh, Eldran, a, a word? If I may. Yes, of course, Eric. Um, I, I, un- I understand why you spoke so positively to Peg about the uh, about the prospect of an alliance between uh, the two cities but um, I I should caution I should I would advise caution in the future when addressing you I I find it hard to predict the whims of the council of Joffrey uh, I know you believe you have great knowledge of them being part of the family, obviously of the Skylight family. Uh, but uh, in my experience, the council is large and has many conflicting um, opinions and desires. That is why the council exists, and predicting predicting any bureaucracy outcome. Bureaucracy will as bureaucracy will. I I do know where you're coming from. But they I'm need sure allies you do. Just, just, <laughs> they need allies just as much as Shroudwind does. And Yes, but the way you spoke to Peg Peg will not un- if if the if the council do refuse Peg will not understand because you, the way you spoke, it sounded like you almost guaranteed it. And I think if, when in the future, I think if uh, a slightly more moderate tone of yes, we will present your and and we will present it as, and we 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 you know if you you had simply said we will present your case and we will present it in the most positive light we can, we believe it's a good thing. And we will, we will, we will fight your corner for you, and so on and so forth. But I, I can't help but feel that you, uh, you almost gave a guarantee that she would be accepted. And uh, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying that we, I, I would not wager on it. I take your advice. Good night, Derek. Good night, Eldra. Wonderful. <clears throat> you all head off to sleep. Um, finish yourself uh, another night's rest. Um, and over the course of the next day, uh, sail onwards to Shroudwind again. Nothing uh, gets in the way, nothing bothers you. This is a uh, peril free journey um, very much unlike the very first, the first the journey the other direction I get rid of my corruption okay I get rid of uh, Erebus' uh, corruption Thanks. cool cool so all of you guys have own. no corruption apart from Shamshir <laughs> <laughs> Boy, he turns no. into a monster and runs off <laughs> to be hunted by his former friend. How many levels has Shamshir got? I want to say two. Hang I can, I can get, get one. Rid of one of them. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> no, I'm, not try- I'm not trying to guilt you into that. Seren- serendipitous, that. <laughs> I'm not trying to guilt you into fixing Shamshir. <laughs> I'm just. Yeah, no, but there is such a thing as karma, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, I mean, I had a spell slot, so. Okay. <laughs> um, 
I'd rather keep really people on side now that Chris is going for me. <laughs> <laughs> now let me just check it. He's in fact on two. I wonder if this is only on one. I, I believe he went to two, and I just didn't update it to be two. But there we go. Not that it's going to matter in the long run. Boom. Uh, so, as you make your way into Shroudwind, uh, when you're about an hour out, you, you can tell when you're about an hour out, because Jack goes back to being hunched over and doing his weird, gaty, hoppy, slidey walk that he does, and adopts his persona of Mad Jack. Um, is it you, raining? Is it raining? Of course it's fucking raining. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if actually, it wasn't raining, well, I think we'd have... It's not I raining. Sort of like <laughs> oh, <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> Is this the real so. shroud wind? But yeah. it's grey and slightly overcast. <laughs> it's yeah. not raining. It does not help my suspicions at all. Um, I feel like this is a prisoner situation. <laughs> when we raining. when we leave the ship, do we have to escort the two clerics back to Joffran? We will do it sometimes. <laughs> <Yep. laughs> or are we just leaving them? Depends on what they no, want, I, I think, suppose. I think, I think I'll take them home. Well, what, what, if, if we're not travelling with, uh, if we're not travelling with uh, Peg's diplomacy group, we can send them with diplomacy group for backup guarding and helping the Indians. Yeah, out. yeah, that's a better idea. <clears throat> um, that is a uh, conversation for another day because as you sail into um, uh, Shroudwind and make port. Um, that will be where we end the session um, so there we go uh, thank you very much guys uh, for watching hopefully you have enjoyed this episode and hopefully you've enjoyed this series thus far um, there will be a video coming out soon um, to explain some reasoning behind what we're doing but uh, i'm just going to say it right in here this is going to be the last episode uh, of the tale of the errant guard uh, for youtube and twitch um we have as i said that th there is a, there is a video explanation coming later but we are moving to off camera play because of this uh so hopefully you've enjoyed uh stay tuned for some of the other stuff that we're going to be doing we are still going to be bringing out rpg content and there are still going to be uh, live twitch videos uh, all explained in a, another video <laughs> um, what's going on there but thank you for watching check out our social media uh, check out the YouTube channel if you haven't go look at our Patreon where we have some Patreon exclusive content come join our Discord uh, throughout the evening stream elements has been sending you links to all the various things and we will see you next time in our um, next okay go next friday because yes. we are still streaming stuff friday i'm gonna yes. i'm gonna fucking hijack this and take over we are still streaming an rpg but it will be the start of a new rpg and kind of picking up the book mm -hmm. where i'm taking over and we're playing fallout waste of warfare so please come join us for that indeed same time same place next week we shall hopefully see you then thank you and good night